Gaius the Gleeful, a Jester, Bomber, the Mad Bomber. He's got the sickles with the aura. He's a pretty cool looking champion. I just noticed this back here. The, the, the back of this helmet that he's wearing almost looks alien. I don't really use Gaius. I've tried him a few times. I actually kind of like him. I didn't really have an opinion on him before. He was just one of those fusion champions that I that I got and then just didn't touch after that. This is my third account here, and I built him out in um, Savage. So half nuking, half accuracy to place the bombs. His A1 attacks twice, extra turn if it kills somebody. He's going to be a damage dealer, of course. His A2, pretty interesting. He's able to CC and place bombs on an AoE. So bomb champions are really good against stone skin champions because if they place which I think they always almost do if, um, as long as you don't have like a low accuracy. It's good against stone skin because it'll do extra damage to anybody who's under stone skin. So think um, UDK. It's an AOE and um, putting people to sleep makes makes it so that they can't take a turn. They can't cleanse or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. A3 attacks twice. The first hit instantly detonates all the bombs. Second hit's gonna ignore unkillable on the target. This is pretty cool against somebody like Rotos. In fact, bombs in general are really good against somebody like Rotos who has that Spurn Oblivion passive. Well, I've actually gone against Gaius. I remember one time with Rotos and the bombs just completely destroyed him. When attacked, 30% chance of placing a bomb on the attacker detonates after two turns once per hit. Instantly detonates bombs on all enemies whenever this champion is killed. Blessing. I put a Phantom Touch Blessing on him just because I wasn't sure what else to do, but this um, Phantom Touch seems pretty good, especially for low level attack damage dealers. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy these masteries. Wasn't really sure what to go for here. I was struggling with accuracy, trying to get him in a Savage set. So I went for the accuracy route. I could also see Helm Smasher working as well, but let me know what you guys think. Again, I don't play too seriously on this third account. I, I basically kind of just go on for um, Hydra, Siege, and doing clan boss, but I don't really do anything here. So here are the specific pieces of gear, focusing on attack, speed, crit rate, crit damage. So we have him in Savage, we've got an accuracy main. I don't really like champions that require two different things. I don't know if maybe I'm not doing the best by building him with both accuracy and damage stats in mind, if I should just build him with all accuracy and speed, or if I should build him more as a nuker, not really sure. I do know that bombs have their damage based off of the attack of the champion, so I know that that kind of correlates well with each other, but still. Speed boots with the attack on the ascension. The ring has a lot of attack, attack on attack on attack. Let me give, me, let me give myself a little more attack here. Let's bring it up to three. Since I don't really run this account too much, I am low on like pretty much everything, including uh, speed, speed glyphs. I have no speed glyphs. We lucked out here. I was able to re-roll this to crit damage. So we have crit damage on crit damage with accuracy. Almost pretty much perfect for guys. A triple roll on the accuracy here. And then attack with some accuracy, some HP and some speed there. Counter attack. But here are the stats. Over 5k attack, 236 speed. 220 is the minimum that I have for my nukers. 100 and barely 200, like not even 200%, just under. 361 accuracy. Again, I don't know if it's better to just focus on accuracy because before this... Before I started recording, he was actually in perception. 550 in perception and speed, I think. And then he was going at like 260 speed and then just about 5k attack. So we'll see if he does more direct damage in a Savage set. All right, so basically what I was looking for was somebody who was able to boost speed and then get to go first. The, the plan is to go first. Now we're not going to be able to do that because we have Hegemon here. In fact, honestly, I should have banned Hegemon, but I was so scared of Mithrala being there that she would cleanse because... Mithrala just happens to be that girl. So they're going to lock me out here. Uh, okay, we actually are able to not get locked out. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of cleansing. And let's see what happens here. Should I have a weed on um, Valkyrie first? Now, I could pound this out, but it wouldn't really make sense for me to do so. So let's just let, cause I'm trying to showcase this. So we'll see. All right, so we did 12, 14 over here on the direct attack and they just left. Okay, so I didn't get to see what the bombs do in terms of damage. 
All right, this time I banned their Arbiter and I left Mithrala. We're going to go first. And Mithrala will probably cleanse, but I mean, there was also um, Pytheon there too. So I was just like, eh, I might as well get rid of their speed booster. Let's get rid of, it looks like Mithrala might actually go first. So let's get rid of Mithrala. And then we're going to speed boost here. And we'll see what this does. Okay, so we skipped that 52 on Wukong. Let's hit Rathalos. And we're gonna leave Pytheon alive so that he can revive everybody. Now let's see what we can do. Let's boost turn meter. And let's check what this A2 does. Now there's no bombs. Actually, let's check the A1. We'll check the A1, 18, 22, gets an extra turn. Let's drop this. We do 35 on Mithrala, 21 here, put Pytheon to sleep, and we have a bomb on him as well. Let's try not to kill him. Leave that, okay, never mind. All right, so we both have the same idea, banning our uh, speed boosters here. He's got that mythical champion, so I'm curious to see how we're gonna be able to do against that mythical champion there. I believe it's a damage dealer. I think it can revive also, so. We're going to get rid of Mithrala first. Just because I, I fear like... I fear that she might be able to um, do the cleanse. So he went first. Blocked the revive. So because we can't place any buffs, we're just going to hit the A1. Try to get a Wukong who's probably going to hit the A2 against Gaius. And then that'll spread. Oh, he hit... Okay. Well, um, we're not in a good position here. Let's just hit the A2. We had 30, 16 against the Mythical... And we'll try to remove buffs here. What is he going to do? Is it like every time he attacks, he revives somebody? Because that's what that looks like. And yeah, woof, woof. But the bombs went off and he went down. So that's cool. All right. We banned his Odin because he was going to give a 40% boost to speed. Probably should have banned Arbiter. Because even if... Okay, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. So let's hit Elva. Since she does have the capability to cleanse, but she has reaction on. So we're going to hit the A2, and we'll see what this does. Let's slow it down. We can't slow it down. Never mind. And 22, 46. Oh, that was from Cardiel. Going to hit this. And we can actually hit Wukong. I want to see those bombs go off. And we're not going to let Hefrak do anything. We're going to give this to Gaius. All right, so his A2 is going to detonate bombs. So let's see it on him. 39. So a bunch of 39s. It was 39 on the initial hit, and then 39 on the bombs doing um, damage. I was hoping he would have banned Marishka. Now we don't have an increased attack on Gaius. Let's get rid of our Mons first. So he's probably going to place the um, block buffs so that we can't do anything to him. But we're going to... Let's actually put Strengthen up, just in case Thor takes a turn. And let's go ahead and take turn meter. Oh, never mind. That was the wrong one. I don't really use Lissandra. I forgot that Marishka actually protects us from bombs. So now, okay. All right. So I think we have a pretty good opportunity. Never mind, guys. Got, um, huh, banned. Hindsight is twenty twenty. I should have chosen Taurus so that he would have banned one of those instead but i hate going in with marishka and taurus especially if i'm trying to showcase somebody because then <laughs> you know what i mean then taurus takes the thunder and we're trying to showcase Gaius here and he's got duchess let's get rid of cardiel actually we get to keep arbiter with us and i banned cardiel because usually uh, cardiels go fast at least my cardiels go fast so we'll, we'll see here so let's get rid of duchess Oh, reaction set on. All right, let's boost turn meter. And we are going to boost turn meter again. And let's hit this A2. So we got through Orthorion, whatever his name is. And I forgot what we hit her for, how much we hit her for. So we're going to hit Duchess. 27 on Duchess. I'll probably see it in the edit, how much damage we did to Orthorion. Let's hit this. Remove those, and we're going to heal, place strength in 39. So it looks like the bombs are hitting straight for 39 there. I don't think crit damage does anything to boost Gaius's um, 
bomb damage. I think it's just strictly multiplied by his attack. And it also kind of makes sense, right? Because crit damage, I think, only operates when you crit hit. And I don't think you can crit hit with a bomb. I'm pretty sure it's just his... Are we in Silver 4 already? I'm pretty sure it's just based off of his attack and, you know, you just get your regular damage in there. But the direct damage that he does on initially touching No Diddy, the other champions, he's able to crit hit there. And then that, that would be the, um, the crit damage multiplier coming into effect. I gotta pay attention to see uh, in the next fight here. So we'll do that. That team looks like it's gonna go fast. If Armand's goes first, we're screwed. And if Arbiter goes first, we're screwed. But Arbiter's got a high blessing. They're gonna be going pretty quickly. A, a Tormund would be very nice here. Best bet, give her the higher blessing. But then again, yeah, oof. Now would have been a great time to bring in Cardio. The one time I'm like, ah, let's not use Cardio, let's use Elva. I get screwed. Okay, okay. Of course, of course. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Enough resist on Mariska. Bombs saved. Well, that bomb's about to tick off again. So, actually, we can cleanse. And, dear God, this is going to end up going to, um, to Taurus. Taurus is going to take the credit for this win. Guys, has, has no show here. There you go. And let's just continue. All right, so here we're going to be paying attention to see how much direct damage he does, not from his bomb, but just from uh, smacking. Going to hit Elva because Elva can cleanse and revive. But it looks like she's going to do that anyway. So we're looking at direct damage, 55, 26. I don't know what that was. And you see we got it on um, UDK there. So when he takes a turn, those bombs will pop off. And I'm curious to see how much damage we're gonna he's gonna do. Guys is gonna do to UDK here. Got another bomb placed on him from his passive. So let's hit this A2, see what it does. And 39, 39, 26. Strange, I thought going against Stone Skin would do a lot more damage. I thought it was supposed to be, um, that's how it was supposed to be. All right, let's go over some of, um, we're in, we're in, again, I don't play Silver 1 here, but look at some of the teams here in Silver 1. Mythical, Mythical, um, freaking Xena, you pay for that. I believe Hex was supposed to increase damage, and I was also I was also testing out Nishak to see if there was a difference between the two in terms of who does more damage, but I think I also recently redid uh, Nishak, so he's not even all the way built. So let's put something, let's just put some perception on him just so he can go into the fight with some, uh, with something. All right, so let's just run it on auto and see. This isn't like the best to try out against, but we'll see. So we got the Hex up on everybody. Got bombs from Nishak popping off. The Jester puts his bombs out, and we're going to see 35 on Harima. Popping off there. I didn't see any damage. I saw a bunch of words. I didn't. I wasn't looking at UDK. What was that, though? So he's dead. Or she's dead, I mean. Bombs on everybody again. Bombs placed on Harima once more from the passive. Yeah, with Duchess in here, we're kind of getting screwed. We're getting boned here because that block buff is really just messing us up. All right, so we have decreased attack on. I wonder if the decreased attack debuff works on his bombs, on their bombs. Uh-oh. Harima doing Harima things. We're outclassed. That's what it is. We're just completely outclassed here. And we get knocked out from silver one to bronze four. Mythical champions here. Mythical champions in bronze four. All right, let's check it. All right, so we have um, stone skin. Oh, 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 and because it's a mythical, it doesn't immediately die. But Arbiter will probably bring him back. Exactly. I actually really like Supreme Gaelic. And yep, standard, standard bronze arena fight. Double hitter. Of course, he's still alive. He even heals a little bit. Then he revives everybody. Perfect, perfect. Love to see it. It's just constantly reviving each other. Again, this is Bronze 4, people. Bronze 4. Even the game's just like, whoa, what's going on? What are we what are we doing here? I really want to see those bombs go. Wow. And look at, look at Supreme Gaelic, dude. Even though he's petrified, he's still he's still okay. Yeah, you know what? How is this gold four? I mean, how is this bronze four? What the heck, dude? Show it off your
stones. And notice that that pinky ring is bright enough, baby.